game 11. Will we break into the Platinums? Let's find out. Oh, we place first. Interesting. Uh, I like this 1095. Ooh, this has some value because of that wheat port as well. This is obviously very good. Even this isn't bad. Um, we should be able to go here and to get wheat on the backswing, I would think. But can we get something else? I mean, wood break would be would be great. I guess worst case scenario, I might be able to pair it with like. Yeah, no, this is probably get taken though, because this would be a good option. Or this will get taken. I guess worst case scenario, we could play here. Or one of these other less than good sheep options. Yeah, we'll give this a shot here. That makes sense. And then I would kind of expect to see the 643 go next. I could, uh, actually, I could see the 1095 actually going first before that. Yeah, so the 1095 goes, and hopefully they rode toward the wood port. That way, we, there's no contest for a sheep port in case I magic my way into a bunch of extra sheep. Uh, let's see. Getting a 3 to 1 somewhere would also be good for us, I think. Okay, what's the 643 next? And now probably the 1095. And then basically everybody's gonna be looking from sheep for from then on out. So somebody will place there, somebody will place there, somebody will probably place there, which means technically this might actually be open. So it's either here or here, and I don't really wanna port my ore early. But it might be hard to expand otherwise. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see kind of what's going to be left here and what's going to give us the best option to uh, to actually expand somewhere. Okay, so they're assuming that's not going to get taken, which is probably a pretty good... Oh, interesting. Huh, they're going to play without sheep. I mean, if this is still open, there's definitely some allure here uh, with this like five, six, twelve, because that at least does give us a road in hand. It gets us better sheep as well, or uh, better wheat as well, which we could then port for sheep later on. Also, we get to expand somewhere up into. Yeah, this might actually be the play here. I mean, you don't love being on a 12 brick, but at the same time, like, getting an even better wheat to pair with the ore is probably, and the, the wheat port is probably justifiable. Also, the ability to work our way to a different ore location, as well as a wood port. Yeah, I think, I think we'll give this a run.
And then naturally, we're just gonna play for this uh, wheat port here. Start with a ton of brick actually. I think I just block the eight here. Uh, what did blue connect on? Oh, they have ore also. Yeah, we're definitely stealing from blue here. Too bad we didn't get the brick. That would have been very nice. Should also think about at some point trying to get a sheep trade in here, maybe someone. Yeah, it looks like there's enough sheep on the board. And I feel like wheat is somewhat rare at the moment. Mm, brown has a little bit. But yeah, other than that, I think, uh, I think I'm looking like the wheat guy right now. Let's just throw a, a wheat trade out here and see what happens. For brick? Absolutely. We might even... Yeah, let's try this first, actually. Perfect. Okay. So that's what we wanted from the early game anyway. Nice. A good little eight there. Well, our, well on our way to a city, hopefully. Now the obvious play would be at a city up here, but I'm kind of considering cityying down here because it's a little bit uh, less blockable. Yeah, without the three to one, without the wheat, uh, wood port yet, I'm, I don't love that though. So yeah, I think I just bite the bullet and city here and become the enemy of all who live. I mean, certainly Brown is gonna block me like on his turn, but what are you gonna do? Unless we can randomly get some brick out of somebody for a decent price. Or if I could do like... Eh, so they don't have any sheep. But if I could have done like a brick sheep for like a an ore, I think I probably would have. But it looks like we just get our eight blocked forever at this point but mostly we're just looking to maximize our uh, production on the weed anyway so that's fine Ruh -ruh. brown's not even gonna have to use their uh their knight which is too bad i would have loved to have seen what their card was maybe they'll go to somebody that actually has brick though Interesting. I mean, I'm perfectly happy with uh, her going to the five, honestly. I don't know where she's going. She's trying to block my eight three or something, maybe? I honestly wasn't even going to expand there for quite some time. But I guess they do want ore pretty badly. So that makes sense. <clears throat> <laughs> we 
We do want to get out to that 912 wood port though, ASAP, I think. I think I would almost, yeah, prefer that to the actual city here if I have a choice. Oh, blue really needs sheep, don't they? To be able to settle there. Other than that, there's not going to be that many. I guess this 11-4 also, but other than that, there's not going to be that many uh, good settlement spots running around. Let's see if anybody randomly needs a wheat. Highly doubt it, but you never know. Worth a check. And there goes blue. Well, that's too bad. Now other people will take advantage. trade a sheep for a brick to the butt. I'm pretty sure they have extra, right? With the sixes and nines that have been rolled this game, they have to. Good 10 again. If an 8 rolls, do we city is the real question? Yeah, probably. And then maybe road as well. two wheat in their hand, blue does. And they might have a little bit of brick. So yeah, we probably go blue here and hopefully make less enemies. Let's see, what does this look like? No, we don't want to do that. I think we want to just see about maybe a wheat trade. Just do that. Hang out with some more weed, I guess. Okay, so red got onto the eight. That's kind of good for us, because then they're much less likely to block it. Let's see if he goes aggressive knight here to try to get some ore or something. I could see it. What his card is then? Yes, that's a good roll there. Four. Let's see. Does that give us enough? Not quite. Is 
see if anybody randomly wants wheat here. Okay, well, it looks like we are just going to have to city. I was kind of looking to settle this turn, but we will just do this, I suppose. And then I think, I think we'll do one small thing here, which is get a brick. Just because I don't want to leave five cards in my hand, given my uh, my current levels of production. Just rely on all this wheat to defend my hand. Well, I might have need, even needed to make that second trade for a wood or something. A lot of cities going up this game. Brown's not in a bad spot either. Blue's in a pretty good spot. Nine. Okay. Fine. Nope. Can't do that. So we definitely want to settle this turn, and then if we can, also squeeze a card out of it somehow. That would be really good for us. Not with that roll though. Let's see if anybody randomly wants a sheep or a wheat rather. We would like a sheep though. Okay. So now any five is a, is a card for us as well, which is great. Twelves are going to be a little bit scuffed because they'll be kind of dead cards in our hand, but shouldn't see too many of those, I wouldn't think. I need to start working our way towards army here as soon as possible. Because I think we're going to be behind in the dev card race to brown since they actually have sheep income naturally and a decent ore, and a good, good wheat, so they're going to be our main contender. Although as long as our 8 is unblocked, honestly, like the ability to just get two more cities should be somewhat easy for us. Well, at least that kind of messes brown up pretty hard. I might solo block brown here. I think that's what we do. We want to force them to play their dev card if they have a knight. Okay, there's a wood. I mean, technically I could just drop my hand here. And let's see, what does a road settle do for us? Road settle lets us not quite win off a city, right? So we can get two more cities and then we would need two settles, like one there and one there potentially. Um, let's do it actually. Uh, hang on, do we wanna do that? No, we really do want the cards. So if they steal wheat from us right now, it's like not the worst ever. I think there's enough wheat on the board that it's not going to matter. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, hopefully they steal our wood, but what can you do? Okay. That works. Also messes with brown a bit. I hate that she gets a card from that, though. Oof. And a decent block. Nine, excellent. Now we just need some kind of wheat roll here. And, uh, or a five even. And then we can actually get our own dev card train going. You don't like that. Good, good, good. Let's 
see what kind of price we can get for an ore here before I move it. Oof, year of plenty. It's not what we're looking for at this point in the game. Yeah, a little bit of wood to defend my hand. And or get us a card. Yeah, she gets a second card rough. Okay, yeah, you did finally get a knight. We're alright with that. So this year, plenty, I mean, we'll probably end up turning it into a couple sheep, I would think, but maybe something in the way of road settle could be like brick sheep or something to make that happen. Four lumber for a brick. Okay, tens are good for us. No sheep out there to trade for right now. Eights have been pretty quiet this game thus far. Oof. Five, that's rough. Uh, let's see. Don't really want to use the Year of Plenty just to get a dev card. It's basically just like replacing itself. I wonder if anybody wants wood randomly. I've always got uh, got wheat for you guys. All right, we're not having any of it. That's fine. Unfortunate, but not much we can do there. Well, at least the robber's got to move, but hopefully it doesn't uh, get placed in a worse position for us. She might go to the ten, the ten wheat. I would think. Yeah, the six wheat would actually be better, but. Yeah, I can see her stopping both me and blue since we're in the lead. And then she'll take road. Interesting. Okay, so that was one of her cards gone. Uh, it's likely she has a knight for her other one. Oof, now he rolled that. Let's see if he goes after red. I highly doubt it. He might go to our eight to hit both of us, but that would actually be really bad for me. Yeah. You hate to see it. Now the eights are actually going to start coming too, because that's the way my uh, my rolls normally happen. Maybe we'll uh, defeat unluck and uh, roll a seven ourselves or something. There's been eight of them this game. We've had three of them. Wow. Guess we're probably not due for any more, huh? Maybe the maybe the bottle roll one and get it off us. Brown does have a really good option for longest road here. All right, any wheat roll, any wood roll, any ore roll. Enough of these twos. Hmm. We really do kind of need it gone from there. So at this point, I'm thinking I'll probably have to get desperate here and just uh. Two for one into ore and then double sheep Europe plenty. One of the worst Europe plenties uh, you'll see around. Oh my gosh, that's even worse. That's just awful. I mean, at least that has to move, but now if they steal my sheep, this is just like the worst of all uh, possibilities here. And at least they got the wood. Small consolation. Three. Man, really, really lacking eights this game. I mean, we would even settle for a 12 at this point, you know? Just for fun, just to know that they're there. I got how four has been doing. We don't like fours because it really helps brown out, but there's the 12. We 
see what kind of buying power we can get for this brick here. Alright, that's good that it messes with uh, red. Three, I could get a brick from somebody. Two, a six. I think we probably block. Man, I'd like to hit red's ability to dev card as well. Maybe the nine. No, I think the four just is the worst, right? We don't want to like start letting him get a bunch of cities out. At this point, I'm willing just to let these brick hang out and exist in my hand. A little defense here. Yeah, of course. That makes sense. As soon as I move the robber. Solid stuff. Jeez, these sevens are just absolutely awful, this game. If we can ever get to army, that puts us at nine, but it's not looking likely. Chase, what is with these numbers? Yeah, there's the eight start coming. That makes sense. Brick has no value at the moment. Maybe I trade them for a wood if they have it. I don't really want to leave just the uh, the sheep in my hand though. That's too bad. All right, there's a little something we can use. Unfortunately, it really does help Brown, doesn't it? Would love to get a knight one day, but I think that robber is gonna stop that dream for quite some time. Alright. The nine sheep block is looking better and better every moment. trade here maybe right. I give up on them I'm just cards forever come on knights we need all the knights good start could clear my hand here yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave the wheat though we're kind of, we're, I think we're going to need to kind of outproduce with just tons of wheat, even if it does start to kind of get stolen here and there. No hard pass there. I'm glad she gave me her sheep that she needed. Sadly, they will not. If we get a little bit more wheat, we could road settle. Man, blue has 21 cards in their hand. That's insane. Hope nobody has a mono. Luckily, she's out of position to play one. 
What does he go for here? Four ore for a lumber. Wow. Is he trying to settle here? Maybe just trying to get road from red. Wow. Two four for ones and passes their turn. That's crazy to me. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think we're going to start going here. And we'll steal from red. Excellent. Now, unfortunately, we don't have the ability anymore to do a road settle. But we do have, technically we could city here. We have one extra knight hanging out. Where would we city? The 912? I mean, I don't hate it. We do actually need another to secure another knight though. So I think actually going for a card here makes more sense. Because that really just is our win condition. Okay, perfect. Now we're kind of free rolling for the next couple turns. As long as we can secure at least one point, basically. We have locked up the game in two turns. What do we got? Roll 62. Kind of thought this game would be quicker, but eights really have been a struggle. The only thing that's performed worse than them is 12. <laughs> you hate to see it. A lot of sheep for uh, red here. Would kind of like to steal from her. What else does she have? I don't want the brick, so I'm trying to dodge that. Uh, yeah, I think she's the best steal at this point. So let's just go to their. Eh, I kind of want them to fight for road, to be honest. Maybe we just solo block. Cool, now we can go right back. If he drops a bunch of brick, we might steal from him. Yeah, we still do want that. Yeah, we don't really care about the sheep anymore, do we? Outside of the, maybe the cell. So, sure. Okay. Yeah, maybe at this point we do just kind of gamble a little bit here and try to set up for a settle. That's a good start. Barring tragedy, I think uh, I think we got it. It's fine. Do you? Let's see. Do I want to go to ten here? I don't think that helps us, right? Mm. We'd have to discard five cards. So if we got really unlucky, yeah, I think we roll first here. All right, doesn't matter. There's army. We'll go block this solo, I guess, for funsies. And then we will just settle here. Call it good. Not bad. 11 points. We'll take it. So we're at 1064. And we are into plat now. 